Across the country, flags are flying at half-staff in honor of former President George Herbert Walker Bush. In Kennebunkport, Maine, the loss is especially painful. The 41st president spent much of his life there, growing up and returned to the family compound every summer. They were really the most down-to-earth, amazing people you could <laughs> ever imagine. That's why there's such a sense of loss. The former president impacted many lives in his 94 years, and political foes became fast friends. Like former president Bill Clinton, who tweeted upon hearing the news of Bush's death. I am grateful for every minute I spent with him and will always hold our friendship as one of my life's greatest gifts. In a statement, former President Barack Obama wrote, America has lost a patriot and humble servant in George Herbert Walker Bush. While our hearts are heavy today, they are also filled with gratitude. Traveling in Argentina, President Donald Trump said he called members of the Bush family to offer his condolences. He was a very fine man. I met him on numerous occasions. He was just a high quality man who truly loved his family. One thing that came through loud and clear, he was very proud of his family and uh, very much loved his family. So he was a terrific guy and he'll be missed. In the same setting, German Chancellor Angela Merkel added that Bush is considered one of the fathers of German reunification for all his work to end the Cold War. For the nation's 43rd president, George W. Bush, the 41st president, was first and foremost dad. On Twitter, he called him the best dad a son or daughter could ask for. The Bushes, a family, a political dynasty, mourning the loss of their patriarch today, comforted by those around the world who share their grief. President Bush will lie in state at the nation's capital starting Monday. Funeral services are still being planned. He'll then be laid to rest December 6th at his presidential library on the Texas A&M campus. Nina, back to you.